What's up, crypto family? Hope you guys are having a great morning. Man, Bitcoin's already at 52,000. Where do we see this at? Bitcoin at 52,000 before the Bitcoin having. Family, we are going to enter into a super cycle after the having. So most people say that Bitcoin is going to go down to 30,000 or Bitcoin is going to shoot up over 100,000. I really do believe Bitcoin will touch over $100,000. But with that being said, Dogelon Mars is up 6.99%. We were at the 1700s earlier this morning, okay? Now, most of you guys wanted to know, well, you know, how come Elon is still sitting where it's at? It seemed like it's being manipulated. Family, I can't say it's being manipulated, but what I do know, once this Bitcoin having happens we're going to run up as you guys see i mean all you have to do is look at the charts fam look at the charts as you guys see this was in uh february 18 2023 okay we were in the high four thousands we have not broken our all-time high since 2021 family you know you guys seen the trajectory going all the way down but i'm gonna tell you like this most of these uh financial planners advisors they are all talking about how this can change the whole crypto space now as you see here crypto executive explains how the bitcoin price could soon double all-time highs so if Bitcoin can run up to 150,000, you say 150,000, what makes you guys think that Elon won't eat these zeros? It's been, what, three years already. What makes you think it's not going to eat these zeros? All right. So John Devine, head of digital asset trading at Blockfields, described the biggest factors that stand to impact Bitcoin's trajectory so i'm going to go ahead and play this clip right quick you guys sit back and listen what he has to say before we move to ethereum any price predictions i love to i love asking people the crystal ball and nobody has a crystal ball so everyone has you know anthony scaramucci said 170,000 by the end of 2025 you know uh, i had you know one of the altcoin daily twins on yesterday and he said 100 you know i've heard nothing less than 100 as high as 200. But what do you think we'll see overall in the next year in terms of Bitcoin price? And then the second half of that is how much up and down do you think we'll see along the way? Yeah. So in terms of price targets, it's it's so hard for, for a guy in my position to put a number on it. If, if you look at prior all-time highs, do we double prior all-time highs when this is all said and done by the end of the year? I think that's certainly in the cards. And 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 the reason I, I would be bullish like that is, well, when we think about this ETF, it, nothing like this has happened for Bitcoin spot markets before. So once, once we digest and we clear through this lag, I think demand is going to outpace supply and we move higher. Okay. But, but on, on, to, on top of that, we're also really seeing an increased participation in options and futures. And this could potentially fuel the fire uh, even further to the upside as, as well. That being said, the amount of the, the number of participants in Bitcoin who are becoming who are more sophisticated, so to speak, in terms of understanding how to hedge a portfolio. I think that also could potentially balance out some of the price action. So, as I said, leading into the ETF, we saw people long Bitcoin short call options. I think that this type of flow is going to eventually diminish some of Bitcoin's volatility, although uh, seemingly new all-time highs are in the, in the cards for 2024, as long as um, traditional markets don't fall off. And the, the other thing to be keeping an eye on is the dollar, the denominator for Bitcoin dollar. The dollar is extremely important to watch. We've seen 
unusual relative strength in the USD, certainly in the past month. And I think that can also, if, depending on how that plays out this year, that's not another catalyst to, to keep Bitcoin in line. Not to not to overexhaust the the point with the Bitcoin having coming up, and now yeah. all these analysts on Wall Street have to report on this Bitcoin having have to be very educated on the supply shock that the Bitcoin having is going to introduce into the market from a protocol layer perspective. We could see some front running of the Bitcoin having, which has been historically not the case. Uh, oftentimes. We run through having and before Bitcoin uh, finds legs and, and marches higher. But with the dissemination of information from financial advisors uh, and, and investment banks to their clientele and that seeping into the general public as well, I, I anticipate this having to be different than the others yeah. and, and certainly with upside pressure. I, I think you're right. I, I was about to say that before, when you said it, that the having is going to change. I, I think the having by definition, you know, creates a push up in price, but I think it's an extra special time with this, with the fact that we have the spot ETFs and, the, and, and what you just said about the analysts. Extra special. I think that having, and just last thing on that, I also think the Fed will drop interest rates sometime in this first quarter. And I think that may have an impact too. So either way, you didn't give me a number, but you said a doubling of previous highs is not, uh, is, is certainly in the cards. So I'm going to go with a, a, a Alluding to 120 would not be unrealistic. You, I said I think, it, I didn't based on. I think that's 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 a good way to take it. <laughs> 120,000, and that's just the start. That's just the start. As you guys see, what I put in the title, the average investor does not see this coming. So we're so used to seeing. Uh, the having Bitcoin having, you know, we will, you know, retrace and then start pumping. What if we may start pumping right after the having happens? What if we start pumping? Family, you guys got to understand this. We are in a moment of our time to see this explode. We're going to see this explode. And not just Bitcoin. You're going to see a lot of these altcoins to explode, especially Elon. So a lot of people are asleep on Elon still. And like 147,000 people hold Elon, but they're not awoke. They're 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 lost. And this is the time where you guys are going to see. And listen, you guys are going to play back my videos. And you're going to be like, damn, Crypto Brown been on Elon for a while. And we finally made it. We finally ate up these three zeros. We finally ran up to high all-time highs. We ain't never reached or sat at three zeros. We have not. This is the time that you want to go ahead and accumulate. Because as you guys see right here, the way how Doge and Law Mars, it will retrace all the way back down and shoot up to 7%. We may see a higher increase. This is all we need to get up. We, we need to run up up here, family. We need to shoot it up to here. As you guys see, we're right here. We're not that long far away from five zeros. We're not that far away to running up to four zeros and if we get at a higher all-time high than shiba inu you can already say you have millions in the bank i believe we will become multi-millionaires and billionaires family you guys are tuned in you guys are locked in with me this is your documentary and we're running it this together and this is why i also believe this is going to make it shoot up a lot more higher because united kingdom economy falls into recession not just that japan falls into recession and what that means is there is they're shooting everything to crypto a lot of these citizens will jump into cryptocurrency they don't got time 
for wait on what's going on with the dollar or what's going on over here. They need that now. They need something that is stable and that is that will rise up. And this is why we hold multiple digital assets. And this is why I say Elon is king. Doge Elon Mars will change your life. Generational wealth is on the way. Thank you guys for tuning in. Love you guys. Thank you for supporting. And I'll be back with another video.